guys, Zuldin here, and welcome back to another episode of Dead in Vinland. We were on day one last time as a little bit of a tutorial. Uh, ended up going through the day with not too many challenges, made a couple of discoveries, found out how the game works a little bit, and we ate and drank last night with uh, some very strange <laughs> and uncomfortable conversations uh, between the members of the fam family, but... For the most part, what we learned is uh, resources are going to be uh, very, very important here. So if I stay here, uh, I'll be scavenging with water or grabbing water, and I need some non-potable water for sure. Um, we used 1.25 units per to remove all dehydration from the members last night, so I think that's what we're going to do again. So uh, we're probably pretty good here with um, with my lovely wife, uh, Bladewed, and uh, let's check out... This, let's see. Oh, craft. Choose a crafting plan. So, what is going on here? Something prevents some stations' actions from being carried out. Click the cycle through. Click to cycle through affected stations. All right. So, what exactly is going on here? Workshop. Oh, we need. A knowledge stone? Ancient knowledge. Stock zero material. Oh. To move forward in this? Is that what we need? Expedition camp. Hmm. Alright, I see. So, going through the materials, there's a few different things that we need to move forward. Shelter. We already have some stuff with shelter. We need more of everything, honestly. <laughs> like, just more in general. We're going to need scavenging and stuff. So this is going to be uh, what we go through. This looks easy. Shelter 2. Previous recipe must be crafted and corresponding tier must be unlocked. Okay, so we've already made the shelter. So we could go to shelter 2. Maximum camp population plus 2 is the benefit. Ah, you see? All of the things that it actually changes. Water supplies. So, um, enables water fetching activity for one character. Enables conversion of one non-potable water into five potable water. So, this would maximum non-potable water plus ten stock. Enables water fetching activity for two characters. Enables the conversion of non-potable water into 0.75. So, this increases efficiency. And all we would need is a fire crystal if we could find that. Or a barrel. Maximum potable water stock times five lumber camp we already have enables wood cutting activity for one character and rest area when you can't sleep at night it's better to get some rest during the day too you can't do anything right when you're tired enables napping activity for one character we need a few more fabric for this so i think that'll be important to do all right so we have some ideas on what we should go for here um, so instead of Elric actually crafting, why don't we go and gather some wood? The wood crafting activity... How do we access that? We did have those other areas to check out as well that we did. We could look at the map here. And let's see. All of these are unexplored territories. I guess that's where we would want to explore. Clicking an unexplored area will mark it as a target of upcoming explorations. Got it. Well, we definitely want to continue this place right here. Um, expedition camp, Kari. Okay, so apparently we don't have a place that we can actually harvest wood yet. We do have the lumber camp. Oh, wait, I see. So we can put Elric at the lumber camp? Is that how that works? It is. That's what happens. So it makes the station, and we can get the plus five to nine wood from there. So while he can't craft at the other location, that's where we need to do it from. Understood. Okay. Well, um, I think right now we have we need a, we need to scavenge more items. We can't craft anything more yet. We're getting water. 
and we are gathering wood and continuing our exploration. Okay, let's go next. We'll let the time pass. We gained a level in scavenging, which is wonderful. We got more wood, more rope, more fabric, which we needed. Raw meat, very good. Healing plants. And we got some constitution from that. We gained a level, and we got some fatigue, naturally. Also some courage and depression. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> okay, let's see how much water that we get. More scavenging. Perfect. 5.25 water, which is not quite enough. We'll have to scavenge one more time. So we got, wow. Nice, seven wood. Less depression from that. That's decent. And we used some water, but yeah, we discovered the beach. Perfect. All right, and we started working on a new area as well. Kari returns home running as if she saw a ghost in the forest. Crap. Mom, Dad, everyone, someone. There's someone. <laughs> Uh-oh. A small group of armed men enters the camp. Eric and Bloodwood step up, raising their arms in sign of peace. Wolves at the door. A huge muscular man walks in front of the group, a giant axe in his hand. Three skulls are hanging from his leather belt. This is not a woodsman. Elric speaks up. Welcome, strangers. We come in peace. Our ship wrecked on the shore a few days ago. Yeah, that courage, baby. Oh, look. My boo likes that. Ah, you talk like a women wimp. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Say welcome to my axe, coward. All right. As he says these words, he swings the axe with fury, wounding a surprised Elric. Then everyone charges up to battle. Dang! All right, it's time to fight. Who will fight? One of three. So Elric is definitely in the fight. Uh, let's see. I think we're going to take our daughter and let's see, initiative five. Turn order is determined at the beginning of each turn, sorted by decreasing initiative. Equality results in random order. Okay, so health 16. I think this is who we take. All right, let's do it. Okay, prepare to fight. Fights are turn-based. Characters have an initiative value determining the turn order. Same initiative equals random order. You can check the turn order at the top of the screen. It's refreshed at the beginning of each. Okay, so that's right up here. About your health. Lost gray hearts above 10 hit points won't have any lasting consequences on them. But each red heart, 10 hit points to 0 hit points, will result in more injury and the chances to get a wound. Wow two days like a fractured arm and stuff holy crap it's pretty unforgiving it seems okay battle skills each skill requires its character to be given a road to be used uh, they can easily switch between melee range rows and using the move skill each skill requires the fixed amount of action points to be used those AP will refill every turn Okay, skills can apply various effects, mostly buffs and debuffs. Also notice that everyone has a chance to resist negative effects. You can always end your turn early and get one extra AP for the next turn if a character must have at least one AP left to do so. Got you. Okay. So, it looks like... So we have Reign of Arrows. This accuracy 75, damage 2 to 3, critical 15%. Evasion stance, target dodge 40%, effects plus 35 resistances. Sniper shot, any enemy in any row for targets. Accuracy 90, 1 to 5 damage in melee row. Range row 1 to 4. Okay, so we can smoke this plunder, but the knives guy. We should probably target him, right? What is this? You're next. Target any enemy in any row. Damage resistance. Okay. So that's like a debuff. So let's do... This takes up 4 AP. Which I have 6. So... 
Uh, we're gonna target the knives guy. <laughs> Only hit him for one. Okay. Uh, we have a couple of AP left. We could do the evasion stance. I think that would be good. Alright. We got a buff. Knife guy's next. Aggressive lunge. Got two damage. And knives guy's in front now. Alright. Elric is in the back. Elric has bull charge. Target any enemy in the melee row. Accuracy 80%. Move to front, self range row, move back to target. Okay. War cry, target all allies in the current row. Melee strike, he has to get up front, so we're gonna do bull charge. Let's go ahead and hit Knives Guy again. Missed! Holy crap, man. But we're in the front row here. Um, it did move him in the back row, though. Melee strike. Warcry targets everybody on my row. Let's go ahead and do that. Hello! <laughs> Neat. And we have one action point left. Uh, we can move or intern. I'm going to intern to get extra AP for next turn. All right. Now is Honey Boo Boo. So what can we do here? Turtle Strike. Uh, defense Resistance plus one self. That looks pretty good. Penetrable Wall. Target any ally in any row. Shield Bash. Hmm. AP minus one on targets. Guard. Target an ally. Okay, so she's kind of like um, a defender, right? She has... Alright, so let's go for Turtle Strike. We hit him. Smack. Alright, we could do that again if we want to. Or we can do Shield Bash and reduce his AP. Or we can taunt. Oh, I I see. So she can like buff her and stuff. I, I I'm starting to see that how the combat the combat will work. Alright, so we hit him a few times. He's still down. Let's go ahead and intern for some extra AP next. And the plunder is gonna go. He's insulting me. Debuff. Okay. Ouch! Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and do Rain of Arrows. We missed. Hmm. All right. Dang. Six. Okay. Dang, he's taking some injury, man. Okay, we're gonna have to... Let's buff Elric here. We got that impenetrable wall on him. And we got four action points left. Let's do two and two. Let's get rid of the plunder if we can. Beautiful. He's almost dead. All right. Time to get hit, baby. Berserk attack. Targeting an enemy in a melee row. Dodge 10%. Damage resistance minus one self. That is not what we need. We need... Uh, let's do melee strike. Kill him! We're going to have to hit him one more time to get rid of him. Yes! All right. One down. Oh, it's us again, huh? Okay. We get an extra... Oh, that's nice. Bull charge or war cry. Let's war cry. That impenetrable wall, baby, my boo put up for me. Focus. Uh, he got a buff. So can I see his buffs and debuffs here? Hmm. 
Oh, yeah. Buffs, AP plus one. Okay. So that was from him resting, apparently. That's what happened. All right, let's sniper shot. There we go. All right, we still have three left. Evasive stance. You're next. So he's debuffed now. AP... Uh, damage resistance minus one, critical resistance minus ten. We can move back now. Perfect. All right. Turtle strike again. Beautiful. Whew. Eric is seriously wounded. We got a lot of stuff, though. We got more fabric, more milk, more worm wood powder, and wheat. Okay. Unscathed, both of these. So, Eric pretty much took the hits of everything now. <sighs> the whole family fights valiantly. Until the giant man enters the fray with a loud, terrifying laugh. And now the slaughter, he screams. Oh, no. Alright, Eric, you're gonna sit out, man. So, apparently... Oh, my God. Bjorn? Head cleaver? God! Is she dead? What? Um... What? Lit... <laughs> Is this even real? Can we retreat or something? Hit and run? Random enemy in a melee row. Move back. Okay. Let's sniper shot him, I guess. Yeah, I don't think we're... <laughs> I don't know if we're supposed to beat this guy. What the heck, man? In turn. Alright. Shield bash. Nothing. Uh, an intern. Oh my goodness. Dead. What? Wow. Sprained foot? Bleeding? Oh my goodness. The giant man is covered in blood, sweat, and tears, his eyes twitching frenetically. Ha ha ha, you see who's the master, huh? Freaking weaklings. I'm Bjorn, head cleaver fools, and everything's on that island is mine. So you are mine, mud eaters. I'll explain just once, cause me don't like talking, so keep your ears opened. You will live until I decide you're of no use to me, then your tiny freaking heads will add to my collection. Every seven moons, one of my stupid underlings will come and you'll pay him tribute. Understood? You're already lagging behind. I want ten wood in five days. If I'm happy with what I receive, you may live another week. Maybe not. Understood, dimwits? Your life's mine and no way out. Only the valleys of hell. The last piece of advice, there are men of mine patrolling the woods. They'll attack you on sight. Can't help it. They, they must pay tribute too. So it's them or you. Farewell, peasants. If we meet again, believe me, it won't be a good sign for your stupid head. Wow. And then they left. Elric, Bloodwood, Kari, and Moria didn't dare move, for even while after Bjorn and his men were out of sight, after checking if everyone was more or less fine, they silently returned to their task. Was it shame or pain? No one was in the mood to talk about what happened. Wow. Yo, we just got... We got spanked! Ah, <laughs> uh, so we can actually... What is it? Ornate Coffer Inspect. You whistle when you examine the chest. It's almost in the perfect state of its craftsmanship. The exquisite. The antlers have been polished in a golden circle. Intricate carving shows great mastery of woodworking. Even the choice of wood is luxurious. Makes you wonder the inside matches the outside. 
Open carefully. Check surroundings. Hmm. Something bugs you. The chest doesn't seem to have the abandoned not that long ago in plain sight. Okay, so a skill check we passed. You fear an ambush. You carefully search the surroundings but find no one alive. What you do find, though, are two dead Norsemen with a dead furry creature you never saw before. From the looks of the scene, you believe the one with the trousers trousers down was relieving himself when was attacked by a big unknown creature. His friend killed a beast but not before suffering a fatal wound to the abdomen. They must have died two days at most. This means they won't mind if you take their belongings. Two mead. Two pelts. One whetstone. A saga axe? While you were away from the chest, someone smashed it open and looted everything valuable inside. Damn, this should teach you we're leaving valuable trash and unguarded. Damn! Man! God! <laughs> Why? Oh. <laughs> they just, the game just gives it to you. Back and forth, man. Back and forth. Okay, we can grab some wheat, yeah? Uh, let's hunt here for some food. Um, hmm. Tall grass is perfect spot to hunt birds and small rodents. Track animals. Titing. Looking for animal tracks, you find rodent prints and feces in the dirt. You allow, you follow the trail to a small hole. Place some wheat as bait nearby the and wait. Its inhabitants eventually come out. An animal looks unlike anything you saw before, but meat is meat. In swift movement, you jump on the rodent and slit its throat. Wow. Seven meat, baby. We got food for the night now. Yeah, good job, baby. Good job. Okay, natural resources are not infinite. Some stations rely on those and more... <laughs> and more they are used, the less resources uh, it will yield and the more strenuous the task will become. They replenish over time, so it might be fine uh, to find some alternatives in the meantime. Got you. Okay. Um, what else do we have here? Nothing yet. 20% is where we're already exploring, so fine. All right. Uh, let's go back to camp. Oh, man. Alright, so we're gonna need to continue exploring, I suppose. Unless we can do some more crafting, but I think we're gonna need stones that we don't have yet. I think more potable water is gonna be the thing, too. Let's look at fire management and get this going. So, let's boil some water. All that we got. Okay. So we have 4.5. We need some more. So we're going to need some water gathering. Okay, let's go ahead and let time pass. A little bit of wood. A little bit of rope. Some more fabric. That's going to be an upgrade somewhere. Some cheese and bandages. Nice. Okay. So we could probably use some items on Elric to kind of help him. Or Eric. I don't know why I keep saying Elric. More forestry. Good. Beautiful. Discovered a new area. And the new area is... Oh, tender tree. Check the sap. Check the sap, it's very sticky with a nice light amber color and a sugary smell. 
He licked the sap and it tastes amazing. It's sweet as honey. Oh. Oh. Wow. Gather some. Wonderful. You empty your water gourd and fill it with delicious liquid. If you leave it to ferment, it will produce a delightful mead. Very nice. So we can also check the fungus. Uh, let's do it this time with her. You look at the fungus attached to the bark puzzle. You can't remember what they're used for. You scratch your head. Ah, it's tender. Harvest tender. Dang it! You scratch the bark off with a knife uh, to extract tinder. Unfortunately, it rips a bit too far and nicks your finger. You may have lost some blood in the process, but at least you have tinder now. Oh, so I still got the tinder. Good. Very good. Uh, <laughs> and one more thing. Gather wood. Well, the uh, best forestry right now is uh, our buddy here. We're going to have to use some items on him to help him out. Tree is not in very good health, so finding good branches is tricky, but you up to the challenge. Start selecting healthy wood. His fatigue is crazy. Let's just do one more. Nope. Find a good piece of wood and a trunk. This lodges a strange looking fungus. Spores are released from your arm. You brush them off and feel an itch scratch, but the itch is even more. Damn spores. Crap! We got forestry, we got wood, but we ended up getting extra fatigue and probably some sickness, yeah. Aha! Okay. So let's look at character sheets here. Oh, that's uh, the wrong one. Inventory, that's what we want. Okay. Or maybe not. Task log. Maybe I have to go... Okay, let's go back to camp here. Check our... There we go. Okay. You need some items, buddy. So... Your fatigue is very, very high. Minus 10 sickness. Minus 10 hunger, plus five depression. Plus five forestry. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and use that, yeah. Nice. It was a consumable, like, got you. Uh, wormwood powder, five fatigue. I think I'm gonna use this. Has a chance to remove random wound trait. And... Mead. Minus 20 depression and excited. 50%. 25% minus 40 depression and drunk. Wow. 25% uh, sickness and vomiting. Well, that's no good. So, uh huh. Everybody else's stats are okay, I do believe. His forestry is getting really high up there, too. I'm guessing that with the food and water that we have, let's just finish up with the fire and water. So, we need six altogether, yeah? All right, condition good. We could repair our shelter, repair the water supplies. Condition 71 good. Water brought minus 10%. If we repair it, it's zero. Okay, good. Sleep quality, minus 25% right now. Okay, sleep quality is perfect. Cooking pot is still to build dryer. We also need... Lumber camp. 
is wood chopped. Okay, that's still good to go. In a workshop. Okay. I think we can end the day now. Uh, we should talk about, you know, it hurts so much, Mom. I'll lose my leg for sure. Don't exaggerate, y'all. More. <laughs> can you do something for our wounds? My last potions. Don't waste them on Kari. She's young. She'll get over it. Wow. Man, Mom. Sorry, I couldn't protect you all. It's not your fault, Dad. You were, They were just too strong. What I said... When I said I hoped that the island was inhabited, Loki spoke through me, I guess. We're still alive, so there's still hope. There's always hope. But what do you think? Was he serious with the tribute thing? I think he was dead serious. We should prepare this week's payment. Tin wood. That's no problem. Wood is, wood is doable. Um, you are very silent, Eric. What did you think? I was thinking about the future. I must choose my words carefully. Be reassuring. We'll be fine. We'll work hard and we'll deliver these tributes. I'm sure of it. Uh oh, rebounding for nine days with her. Wow. Yeah, another ray of hope is that we might find some helping hands on the island, or another foe. But I agree, we should definitely explore the island and find some help. I fear that our own. We are an easy prey. Yes, you said it, Mom. Tomorrow, I'm out of this damn camp. All right. Recruit allies. Explore the camp. Share the water. All right. 1.25 for everybody. Well, we don't need that specifically because Eric's not dehydrated. So, 1.25 here. Hundred percent chance to lower. And I'm gonna go ahead and give you um Oh, he doesn't need to drink at all. I got you. Or he won't drink. Either one. Alright, everybody's rehydrated. Share the food. Uh milk. Minus four to eight hunger, two traits diarrhea. Zero to thirty percent of the stock will turn into rotten food each night. Ah, got you. Um, Non-perishable. Oh, I like that. I like that. Okay. Eight to eighteen hunger, one to four sickness. Twenty percent of the stock will go rotten. So let's do. I like the fatigue bonus. Oh no, that's plus fatigue. Wait, yeah, zero to two fatigue. Oh, it actually adds fatigue? What? Well, we're gonna give that to somebody else. Um, let's give it to the person with the lowest amount of fatigue. Yeah. Okay. She's still going to need to eat some more. Eric is incredibly hungry. Wow. She got a little bit of sickness, too. All right. So that's not bad. So 20%, 20 to 50% um, will turn into rotten. We're just going to have to let it go. Plus three injury. All right. Fatigue went down. Fire went down. All right. So we got one rotten food. Might be able to use that. It's actually a material after it rots. That's weird that it could count as a resource. Today's weather sunny. Huh. Fatigue minus 20 to minus 10. All right, that's pretty good. The night effects, fire intensity, minus 30 to minus 20. Very nice. Well, guys, that was day two. 
<laughs> I think it was really interesting. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give me some dap on that like button to show you support. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Ulgen signing off. And we'll see you next time.